Hello, Joe from Montmartre here again. I'm really glad that you've tuned in because I've got a great little lesson for the kids lined up. Today, we'll be painting this cute little bee, but more importantly, we'll be reinforcing an important inspirational message for them and they'll be learning great brush control. Now, although it is aimed at kids, it would look fantastic on a nursery and it's just the type of project that you could do with that special little mate of yours. You don't need much equipment, a canvas, some paints, a brush, so let's get into it. So the first step is to draw up our cute little bee. Now if you'd like to find this reference image then go to montmart.net and when you're there, go to the TV section and then go to the B painting. Then you can download and print out the PDF lesson plan. And that's how you'll get this. And while you're there, have a look at our family feed and maybe join us on Facebook where you'll get great hints and tips. So let's draw up this B. So this is really easy. The body is just a squashed circle, the eyes are two circles, the wings are a couple more squashed circles, and then we can put his stripes on. Keep your lines fairly soft and keep them flowing. Give him a smile because he's a happy little bee, and then a couple of arms. Let's give him a pen too, so we can write his message. When you draw the other arm, try to think about its positioning. It's easy, huh? You can't really make a mistake at this stage. Now let's put on those antennae. This is getting so exciting. It is now time for us to add the colours. And for the colours, I'm using the Montmartre acrylic paints. Every child should be keeping these in their art drawer because they're just fantastic. So let's squeeze our colours out. You could use any colours you like, but I'm using vermilion, lemon yellow, cobalt, blue and black. So to apply my paint, I'm using the angled brush. So slap this on and try and stain the lines. Add a little water if you want it to flow smoothly. Now everybody knows that bees are black and yellow, so let's lay in our yellow. You can get a nice sharp edge when you lay the brush on its side. Add a little water to the paint so it'll flow again. Use the corner of the brush for the fine detailed areas. And use the tips of the brush for the fine lines. Hold the brush upright for this. It's amazing how many different marks you can make depending on how you hold the brush. There, what a happy little bee. How good is that looking? Now for the black. Now let's lay in an outline. Do that on his arms and again use the edge of the brush to do this. Now for the writing and you could use any quote that you like but I really like this one. B. B. E. Another E. Y. O. A U. And R. Uh, S, another E, an L, and an F. While you have the red paint in his pen too. Be yourself. <coughs> Ta-da. Well, that was a bit of fun, hey? I really do like this concept. And if you liked it, then let us know on Facebook because I've got lots of ideas that I'd love to do in future lessons. So until next time, keep on painting.